Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I wasn't going to post any more videos in 2020, but I decided to do a what I got for Christmas haul because I love watching them and seeing what other people got, and I figured why not. We'll just throw together this quick little video and that'll be the last one of 2020. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm working really hard to grow this channel and I would love for you to stick around. Honestly, I feel very spoiled this year. I got some things that have been on my list for years and things that I didn't even know I wanted. So <laughs> let's get right into it and I will show you everything I got for Christmas. So first up is actually this sweater. It is from Kill James Patrick. He is like, he and his wife are like the New England royalty. If you've seen a picture of New England, it's probably theirs. Perfect quintessential New England aesthetic. And they have a shop where they sell some clothing and accessories and this is one of their sweaters. If you know me, you know that I love foxes. Like they are, they are my favorite thing. And my tree is covered in foxes. Foxes are my thing. So when I saw this sweater last year, I knew I had to have it. Didn't get it for Christmas last year, but this year my husband came through and he got me the Kill James Patrick fox sweater with my initials on it. And I couldn't be happier. I love this sweater so much. It is just like a perfect classic style. A little bit of form fitting. It's really comfortable something that I can keep forever. Next, I actually got another sweater from my friend Brandy. She has a secondhand Instagram shop where she shares vintage and secondhand clothing items for sale. And she sent me this beautiful fisherman sweater on normal people, like normal sized people. I'm very short. On normal sized people, this would fit like kind of a shorter sleeve and maybe like a cropped fit. But on me, it is like the perfect sweater size and I love it so much. I wore it the day after Christmas and I absolutely love it. Speaking of my friend Brandy, she also got me this Bluetooth vintage looking speaker. It is by the brand Victrola. I don't know if that's actually how you say it, <laughs> but it is so perfect. I have a vintage inspired record player and this really matches the vibe. So now this one can go in our bedroom and then our record player can stay out in the living room. I've been using it every day. I love it, it's really easy to use. It's also like just a Bluetooth player and a radio. So really simple, but really cute. So very excited about this. Okay, so we'll just keep going with the friend gifts. Next was my friend Ariel. So for the past few years, we've been doing like themed gifts, either friends or SpongeBob, because we both like those very much. And so this year she got me Central Perk themed items, so oven mitts, and then an apron, which I haven't used yet. I've used the oven mitts though, because we seriously needed oven mitts. Like, we only had one, and it was from Walmart, falling apart. I think it was a dollar, stained and gross, and it didn't really work. So, very grateful to have new oven mitts and a new apron. And then also, the set came with this lunch bag. So it looks kind of like a paper brown bag, but it's not, it's insulated. Uh, she got these from Box Lunch, I believe. I will link as much of this stuff as I can in the description box below. But very grateful, especially for the oven mitts. <laughs> so we can not burn our hands and not have, they're actually kind of dirty already because we use them. They need to be washed already, but they look a lot better than our old one. And then my last friend gift was from my friend Kylie. She got us this beautiful candle. It's the Capri Blue brand. I believe this one's scent is Crystal Pine and it smells like a Christmas tree. It smells wonderful. My husband loves, loves, loves candles. So he was very excited. And it's this really beautiful mercury glass looking almost, but it's got gold on it and then the gold lid. Next is from my mom. She got me the cutest tea strainer. So I've actually wanted this for a while. I've needed a tea strainer for a long time because I have loose tea that I haven't been able to use. So this is perfect. It's from Helen Milan. It's this cute little basket strainer for tea. You just plop it on top of your mug and pour the water over and it strains the tea for you. So very excited to use this. Actually, I've already used it, but I'm excited to keep using it. You know you're an adult when you ask for Tupperware for Christmas. Yes. We got the new Rubbermaid Brilliance Tupperware, but this is the glass kind. The bottom, like the container is glass, but then the tops are plastic. They like have this like sealed rubber bit. So when you put it on, yeah, I don't know if you could hear that, but it 
like pushes out all the air for you and then you can just latch it shut so love these have wanted them actually wouldn't mind some more but we did not have tupperware so i've been missing tupperware like two basic things that we didn't have and really needed now we have and i'm so so grateful very very excited for tupperware for christmas and then finally my mom got a gift for both my husband and i and it is this beautiful wooden nativity set it is actually a music box which the details are beautiful and i'm very excited to keep this out for a little bit longer this year and then to also have it out for next year so the next gift is from my sister mckenna i had this hat on my wish list and i'm so so excited that she got it for me it is from gg pip which is pretty much where all of my hats are coming from now i just wanted to redo my hat collection and make sure that i was getting quality hats that i could have forever this is a beautiful beautiful version of the cabbie hat i love the detail it fits so well it's so beautiful i cannot wait to take this on some adventures and to wear it I'm so excited about it it's so pretty next is a sort of a gag gift from my husband not really <laughs> it's kind of serious but also kind of a gag so last year for christmas this was our first christmas together last year was our first christmas together and he <laughs> He gave me this handsome Squidward figurine. What are they called? Action figure? A collectible item of handsome Squidward from Spongebob. So one of my favorite Spongebob episodes is one of, I think it's the first Halloween episode. And anyways, this is from that. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you will not understand this. <laughs> but he got me the Spongebob with the brain. And it's seriously one of the funniest, best episodes. And that is what this is from. He is going right next to Handsome Squidward in our closet because <laughs> we don't have anywhere else to display SpongeBob figurines. It's a very small apartment that we live in, but one day maybe they will live in a place of pride. <laughs> and then next, my husband also got me a fox patch. Again, foxes are my thing. I have a bunch of patches that I've collected over the years, and I'm finally going to put them all on my denim jacket maybe today. But I'm gonna put this one, I think, on the front, like the left chest area of my denim jacket. So it's very cute. It's from this little shop in the UK. Very happy about that. And then he also, <laughs> you know, it's 2020 when you get a mask for Christmas. <laughs> I got this mask from Doen. My husband bought it for me. Doen is one of my very favorite shops and they make the most beautiful clothes. And they, of course, have made some masks using their gorgeous fabric. And this is one of them. It's got like the nose piece. I don't like masks that don't have them. They have a few different styles, but I love this one. It'll go with everything. And it's super comfy and beautiful. And then last is a gift that might be my favorite, which is interesting. I don't know if you would like guess that this one would be my favorite, but I really think it is. And it's something that I wanted for years. It's from an artist that I follow on Instagram and her name is Laura Pemberton, I believe she makes the most beautiful paintings and she makes ornaments and things and i have wanted this one for so long it is called mr bear's house and it's this and of course it has a fox why wouldn't it you know me it's so folksy and whimsical and it's something that i've wanted to hang in my home for so long and i can't wait to get a frame for it so that we can hang it up properly it's the one gift that when i opened it it brought tears to my eyes and i just was so so excited like this sweater was another one that i was so so excited I, honestly i was so excited about everything i just feel so spoiled and grateful but for some reason this is the one that really did it for me that is everything that i got for christmas in 2020 i hope that you enjoyed this video please let me know which of the gifts you like the most or would be most likely to add to your own christmas list and also please tell me what you got for christmas in the comments below because i don't know why but i just love seeing what everyone else got so <laughs> go ahead and tell me in the comments below if you have your own video please link it because i'd love to see it and i hope you have a very happy new year bye